It's a cold winter's evening in Romford. The Fisher family have sat down to watch a bit of telly. A few of Johnny's best bits from the story so far. A time to look back, right. to reflect. My missus hands here. Yeah, I know, look. The worst fist bump ever. Oh, I missed it. Oh, She's so nervous that night. The journey for Johnny began at Wembley Arena, behind closed doors. The old family recall watching nervously from the living room. I'll never forget that I was standing in the hallway and we had all our positions in here and everyone was really bickering before, weren't we? Because we were all tense about about you were uh, about when you were coming on. We were really nervous. We all had our positions and we couldn't move. No. Who was round? Just, just us, us five. It was, it was just it was us lockdown, five in here. It? it was um, lockdown. Unlike Boris, we abided by And then when rules. you came out, when he came out and I saw him, I thought, oh my. Yeah. We thought, oh my God, yeah, that's a lot of people said that. They saw Matt Gordon and thought, Yeah, because oh, I saw no. the tattoos and that, and it made you feel really He's uh, quite nervous. big as well. He's quite yeah. a strong man. Yeah. Strong man. Yeah, yeah. I've got a lot of pressure on me from where I've, where I've built myself up and built myself up, but I've just shown what I can do in there, and I've got loads more building to do, but it's a good start to the journey. Yeah, them hard but there you look like you've just come out of school, and now you look like a proper man sitting there. I don't know. It did it's... help. Sam Jones told you to shave all your hairs off, and you did, did. it. Mm. Yeah, I think he was winding well. you up then, Johnny. I did actually think when you walked out, what has happened? Because yeah. you looked completely... I actually, <laughs> I actually felt really <laughs> I fresh, wonder... though. I actually felt good. Actually you probably felt... did, because you are it's quite hairy, weird. aren't you, on your what? arms and things? She looks weird. <laughs> William, you <can't... laughs> look weird? He just looked young. William can't grow any hair, so... Yeah, you can't, can you? Do you remember you... Do you remember we, um... No, I won't say that. No, I wouldn't if I were you, and I know what you were going to say. Yeah. No, but no, you've, you've definitely matured in the last year. Yeah. But it's that, I've changed a lot because in the year of, year of boxing training, you've been, you change changer. Yeah, but everything, yeah. your life, is, it's all changed so quickly in a year, yeah. hasn't it? So that's why. Yeah. You're doing it's like William's body's changing, isn't it? He's getting a bit porky now. Mm. Finally going through puberty. Yeah. Maybe you are getting a bit porky. Do we go to the gym or mm. lose a bit of timber? Yeah. He wants to be like he's dead. Yeah. Mm. Good on you, Will. I don't know yeah. if that's a good idea. As a, like I said, four amateur fights. You can see punches very, very hard. They tell me his chin's phenomenal. We, we won't worry about that later in the career. But like I said, when the fans come back, they're going to love the journey of Johnny Fisher and it's going to be a lot of fun. I remember Sam Jones rang me up 30 minutes before he was going to go in and he said, John, it'll be fine, it'll be perfectly fine, but I was nervous as anything. Yeah, I was nervous we from the were. first one. I was well. hiding behind that door. And then I, I spoke to someone, I spoke to Richard Towers actually, in the first thing, and he just said, just go out and enjoy it because you worry about everything in life mm. and then you end up missing the moment of what it is. So I just go well, out yeah, and enjoy it. With, with your debut as well, you train hard, you had a lot of hype, but then you've got to perform. Yeah. Bash! Think of this. Bash! Bash! Get <laughs> 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 on, you're oh, a bit calmer there. Bash! 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 <laughs> I was walking through the gym yesterday, right to the swimming pool bit, and there's a man in the shower, and he just said to me over the top of the shower, he just went, Bash! I don't know who it was. Why are you in the shower? What, what <laughs> I wasn't no, in the shower with a man, I was just walking past. Is <laughs> yeah. yeah. that alright? Bash! 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 Tom Skinner is the king, of, king Bosch. of Bosch. Yeah. Yeah. He's king the king of Bosch. We're, we're the disciples of Bosch and we took it to places where perhaps he couldn't reach. Like Chinese we're reaching takeaways. Chinese takeaways yeah. with Bosch. Mm. We're, we're taking it on to a different different places. But on tour. Because every tour. Friday and Saturday yeah. night now, people are sending me and you things through like, of their Chinese. They, they, send, they send it through the videos of their takeaways, Indian or Chinese, and they bash. And they ask you to rate it, don't yeah. they? I'm yeah. quite good at rating Chinese takeaways, mm. so it's, yeah. it's, I just wish I could do it. You're, you're being quite lenient on it. I think now you've got to, you've got to be a bit more honest with them because some of them, some one person you've done, they didn't have rice. Yeah, yeah some of them are dreadful. Them. There's no colour as well, sometimes a bit plain. Yeah, yeah and they said, there colour. was one, there was with a duck, that someone in a duck dish and there was no plum sauce. Yeah, can't have mm. duck without plum sauce. Sorry. But don't get too drunk. Bash. Ming. Bash. It was double lively. Bash. It's a bit annoying at school. Cause Why is it annoying? Oh, because you just get all the 
little boys coming up to you saying boss. And yeah. That's nice. Though. That's good. They're boss soldiers. Yeah. Yeah. They're part yeah. of the boss. They're part of the boss. They associate you with they're it. The next, they're the next generation. Because you're family. Yeah. Yeah. It's the next generation. And it's fun, isn't it? It's just fun. It's just a... a little bit of light yeah. in these troubling times. Yeah. It's, a, it's fun. Yeah. You're a boss soldier as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The summer brought around a second instalment of big time boxing in Eddie Earn's back garden. The Fisher family travelled to Matchroom HQ for fight camp. He worked hard, he took a chance in Vegas with Sam Jones and Joe Joyce. He's here, but you're only here as long as you perform. So you've got to keep performing every time he's here. So, you know, but it's great. You can't ask for any better, you know. One of the best nights I think I've ever had that mm. fight camp. It's just mm -hmm. like when, when, when I turned up, you get off the coach, obviously you meet the Brentwood Centre, got on the coach and I was trying to have a laugh and a joke on the coach but you're still nervous but then nerves. You get to the venue and then you go in you go in the big tent you have a bit of pizza you have a drink a bit and then, but then you actually forget you're there for the boxing and then you come out yeah. I, I see Barry Earn. I was meeting Dillian White and then you come out and you see the ring and then bang it hits you it's weird walking through the matchroom HQ you go through the that's what I thought it looked. you go through the house yeah it's like going through a house um, isn't it I'm just looking at everyone. It's a house. No, no, see but it's, no. <laughs> you getting, but it's not. It's, it's set up for fight camp, so no, it's not it's actually. Yeah, we know. It's I know it's a house. house. It's yeah. a house. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it's strange walking through that, isn't it? Rather than an arena. You didn't walk. Yeah, through. You walked through a house anyway. All the time. Yeah. It's not strange to walk through a house. It's strange walking through a stadium. It must have been strange for Johnny. Must yeah. be strange for That's all them boxes saying. on that. Yeah, but night. you said it's strange to walk through a house. And through she didn't walk like through it. Oh, no, she never walked through I, the I house. I know what I mean, and a lot of people. But, what do you um, do then when you come in the house? Do you roll? <laughs> I think I think like a big house like that. You think old oh, people must be spoiled, and but they're not like that. No. Barry Earns not like that. I watched that interview with Barry and Eddie and. And he was saying something like, I was still made to do all these things when I was young. Yeah, yeah. because Barry is working class. He's yeah. come, he's come yeah. from Dagenham working class. So even though they've got the big house, he knows the hard work it yeah. took to get there. Yeah, he, he the wasn't just giving it. No. no, anyone that has to work for something, you appreciate mm, it. Definitely. Yeah. I'll go I back to fight camp just for the food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had the burgers. The burgers were nice as well. I had the pizza. That was lovely. I didn't really eat hardly anything. After I fight, I don't really no, have time to eat. No, yeah. What else was there? You had the burgers, the pizza. And it's like coffee, Mexican and stuff. Coffee, coffee, yeah. What did coffee, you have then, bro? The pizzas. The pizzas were good. Mm. Me and William were at the pizza bar, weren't we all? Yeah. yeah. All this talk about grub and food had made Big John and the family very hungry. Double weight, double, double lively, lively, double, double lively. lively. Bosh. Shall I order Johnny's? Yeah, it's I'm starving. Yeah, all the time. I'm but starving. Man. I'm really hungry. Is it Thursday night? Thursday's a new Friday, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Thursday's a weekend. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. Get the salt and chili king prawns as well this time. You can get duck. You're liberty taker, you are. You are. Yeah. Hello, uh, hello, it's John. Can I place an order, please, for delivery? Yeah. Thank you. Um, can I have a plain charming? Let me know if I forget anything. Mm, uh, shredded really chicken can. charming, egg fried rice, special fried rice. Sweet and sour chicken Hong Kong style, sweet and sour pork Hong Kong style, sweet and sour chicken balls, salt and chili chicken, yeah. salt and chili king prawn, kung po prawn, roll, mini pancake rolls, beef and black bean sauce, roast duck Chinese style. I'll have uh, a little, bit, little bit healthy, special chopped suey. And Singapore. Singapore rice noodle, yeah, rice noodle. Okay, uh, you want shredded chili uh, beef? Shredded chili beef, and also can we have uh, some king prawn and garlic and chili, please? Mm. And pancake roll. I said the best. Oh, pancake, a large the pancake roll. And oh, can I have um, chips and prawn crackers? Chips, prawn crackers, curry sauce. Yes, delivery, please. Lovely. 45 minutes. Oh. The night before Halloween, 1500 Romford Ball Faithful made their way to the famous O2 Arena in Greenwich. A night in the capital that Big John would make his debut on live TV. What night that was. Oh, um, it is, will you? Yeah, ankle, me, ankle swingers on that suit as well, aren't they? <laughs> no, he's six foot. Oh, his, legs are six, his legs are six foot long. He looks very, he's very, very smart. Long, Here is the undefeated Rumble I thought I'd have one it's section. I thought I'd have one section on the whole place. Place, I just couldn't believe it. The whole crowd. What a night. You have to block it out. You just kept seeing the t-shirts. You've got to block it out because if you don't, yeah, you've got to. You, you can't really get yeah. on top of you. 
And I think that was a test in itself, just fighting in front of a crowd yeah, like definitely. that. Definitely. Like it will be at Alexandria oh, Palace. Yeah, yeah, that'd be even worse. Yeah. That'd be even worse. That'd be even worse. That'd be packed into a smaller class. And now, as he appears in person, that is just amplified. The man who sold well in excess of a thousand tickets for this evening's show here for his fourth professional contest at the age of 22. I think that's the best way to be, like, just be, being just yourself. Just be yourself, John, eh? Never change, you just always be yourself. I'm never going to fake what I'm doing, or because I know how hard it is as well. Boxing is the toughest sport in the world, John. Not only that, you, you, you are yourself, you be yourself. When we walked into the drill, I'll never forget the amount of people that were in I went up the drill early doors, Brad, and that was up there, Dave, I think Tony Dow, and it was sporadic. Nice you went earlier, there. didn't you? I went earlier. Oh. Nice support. You went with Daddy, didn't you? Nice support. Etty was with me, but not nothing major. I'm thinking, oh, it's good, but, you know, it's, it is what it is. It was by pure chance, we said, wasn't it? And then we was, the one that told no, Etty said go. We was going yeah. back to the train station to get on the train. And we said, should we just pop in the drill, see who's there, that didn't we, it. before we go. And I walked in, but it was time, and it was empty, it was empty, and I thought, where is everyone, we missed I them said, all. where are they? And they said, they're in the garden. And you go oh, out in the garden, there must have been 300 people, if, all the flags, all taking all photos. All that t-shirts, one unreal. big group photo. But he's got support from all over the country, which is great, and that's what we want. We don't just want it from Essex, we want it from everywhere. Special shout out to Big Johnny Fisher, what a character, what a great family. But, I can't tell you how much the support of people will help a fighter develop. That was one of the best experiences I've ever had in the O2, and we've had some great experiences here before. Security guy come around and went, oh, Big John, uh, Eddie wants to see you. And I thought, all right then, I'll go around there, I'll walk around there, see Eddie and Barry Earn, you know, great to see them. And then they said they want a photo, but it's up in the ring. <laughs> And I thought, what, up in the ring? And it looks so high, it's so tall, isn't it, them rings? And everyone's looking and cheering. I had my jeans on, didn't have a belt. Because he took, took my belt. belt. I didn't Not, take it. Yes, you did. Well, John, and dad's belt. And so I didn't have a belt on my own. He's done it as a joke. He's putting his jeans up. And I get up into the ring, right? The funny thing is, I get up into the ring, and uh, who was holding it open? You was it a... Sonny Cannon or Steve Jimmy, Andrews? Jimmy. Or Jimmy Tibbs was holding it open? Because they're half strong, aren't they, them? And I get through, and I thought, that's all right, my jeans have stayed up. And then have all the photo, everyone's cheering, it's brilliant. And then when we get out the ring, I'm the last one out and there's no one holding the ropes. <laughs> so the gap out. is about that big. Did you roll underneath? I just thought, how am I going to get <laughs> out of this? should have slithered out. That would have been a, a good TikTok for you, if oh, I'm falling God. out. Alexandra Pierce. Yes. Great views oh, of is London. This, is this it? I was watching the dark yeah. a couple, yeah. three or four weeks ago. <clears throat> yeah, this is like, look. Oh my God, yeah, I look like that. It's massive. Yeah. Not too far as well for the Ron Football Army. <laughs> but you're one of the main Attractions when we go and fight, and people like you said in that, vi that video earlier when you're walking in, everyone's chanting, chanting, yeah, we'll like people when I was walking around the O2 all saying hello and everything. Oh, well, calm, down. Calm, down. Yeah. calm down, calm down, mate. Big calm down, mate. You keep your feet on the ground, Big all right? Keep your feet Don't on the ground. <laughs> yeah. I could have, I could have easy done 3,000. Easy, we should have like. Over half of the people in there, then. Yeah, but it's good. It's good. It's it's great. It's, it's great support. It's great. It? It's good for everybody. You mm. just want to fill venues up, whoever yeah. it is. Whether you're boxing on a show one time and someone yeah, else yeah. sells loads of tickets, you yeah. just go along with it. You just ride the wave. So mm. you know, it's what it's all about. But yeah, Ali Pally, six thousand or more. Hopefully, two, three thousand will be ours. It's going to be unbelievable just to feel that experience, and mm. I'm ready to go again. It's just another fight, and I've got to get it done. Mm. It may be a new year, 2022, but the story goes on. With over 1,800 tickets sold in 48 hours of Avenue, February 12th for Ali Pali promises to be another lively affair.